Well, guys, I want to take a quick minute just to say thanks for taking the time to uh, come today. And I also wanted to share uh, my team's feeling of pride and uh, honor that we have in serving you guys every day. Um, you guys did a tremendous job last season. I hope you do even better this year. But uh, we take a lot of pride in serving you guys. And we like to think that we're part of your success. So uh, hopefully you guys feel the same way too. Um, today we're going to do a quinoa performance bowl. And one of the things that I don't think Hannah mentioned about quinoa is um, <clears throat> it's, it's the highest protein, ounce per ounce, it has more protein than chicken. And it's actually a grain. It's an ancient Inca grain that uh, they've been harvesting for centuries. And um, it cooks really, really quick. You can buy it uh, pre-made, uh, pre-cooked in the rice section at the grocery store. So in the dorm room, it's real easy just to pop it in the microwave. Um, as she mentioned, some of these things that are up here, you can come out and, and look at them after the demo. Uh, all this stuff I bought at Myers, and uh, you can replicate this recipe rather easily uh, just by purchasing some of these things and mixing it together. You can even buy a nice dressing. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a dressing first of all. <clears throat> and. Uh, just to get, make things interesting and start things off on the right foot, I'm gonna call on my good friend Seth to come up here and help me make this dressing. So Seth's gonna come up and I'm gonna show him how to make a dressing. Yeah, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine all these ingredients into this jar. And you just need a jar with a tight fitting lid, okay? Um, we're gonna start off with uh, Thai chili sauce, which is kind of a sweet, hot chili sauce. Go ahead and put that in the jar. Oh, is it? Yep. Right. And then we're gonna add some fresh ginger. some fresh garlic which has been chopped up. <laughs> so that's the fun, the, wait till the fun part, it's gonna get fun. Okay, then we're gonna have some fresh orange juice. Yeah, you can pour everything else in. And then we've got some lime juice. Some soy sauce. rice vinegar, a little sesame oil. I have all these ingredients up here. This is everything that's in the dressing. We're gonna finish it off with a little olive oil, which is a healthy fat, okay? Now I need you to put the lid on there as tight as you can. Don't break the jar. Make sure it's on there really tight. Pick it up, I'm gonna get this stuff out of your way. Okay, now Seth, I want you to shake it. I mean, shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, so. Shake it, come on, shake it, shake it. Like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> <I'm sitting. laughs> All right. So you just wanna get it really well combined. It'll kinda of come together. Um, it'll become a little thicker, okay? This, this sauce is great, you can make this much. You probably only need about two ounces of it for, the, for a single serving. It'll keep in the refrigerator for a week or more. Okay, just keep it cold. Uh, so this is our dressing. That was really, really simple, right? Thanks for your help, Ross. No problem, I appreciate it. So we have our dressing made. Now we've, we're gonna cook the quinoa. Yeah, give Seth a round of applause. I think he did. <laughs> now we're gonna cook the quinoa. And the quinoa is really, really small. It's really, really fine tiny little, almost like a seed. And I have some chicken stock on the stove that I brought to a boil. We're just gonna add that to the pot. And that doesn't take very long to cook. It takes about 15 or 20 minutes. So we're just gonna let that simmer away. How many of you guys know how to dice an onion? 
You ever diced an onion before? None of you. One or two of you? Seth, you probably have. So I'm going to show you how to dice an onion. You want to cut the ends off. And I just cut it right in half. You're going to peel the skin off. Just that top layer. And you're just going to cut straight down. And then nice, even cuts the rest of the way. The layers of the onion separate, it all comes apart. So we're going to roast the onion with some squash. So we're going to put the onion in a bowl, set it aside for now. I have some butternut squash and uh, I've got that already diced up. So I'm going to place that in the bowl with the onion. Going to add a little bit of olive oil, a little pepper, some salt. We're going to put some fresh thyme in it. Fresh thyme is a really versatile herb. Um, it goes in a lot of different things, stocks and sauces. It's got a real savory flavor. So we're going to mix this all together, make sure it's all coated really well. And then you want to place this onto a sheet pan or a tray. And then we just bake this in the oven. Takes about 20 minutes. Uh, we want to get the vegetables tender and just a little bit of brown on, to, on, the, on the onion. Helps make it more sweet, caramelization, helps provide a little more flavor, okay? So in the meantime, we're going to take some chicken, which we grilled off ahead of time. We're just gonna dice this up. And just set that aside. Now I'm going to show you how to deal with an avocado. Has anybody ever cut an avocado here before? It can be kind of tricky, right? I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to take the knife and cut it around the edge and half. Don't go all the way through because there's a big seed in there, okay? You're gonna twist it apart. And then you just wanna take your knife, knock it into the seed, and then twist it. The seed should pop right out. If you've got a rife avocado. Mine's not ripe enough. So anyway, that's the idea. And then you want to take the avocado and just score it with your knife. And you can just squeeze that out. So our avocado is ready, chicken is ready. Through the magic of television, I have some quinoa that's already been cooked, okay? So, I also have some vegetables that have already been cooked, just to make it even faster. So we'd like to uh, combine our roasted onions, and they can be hot or they could be room temperature after you've cooked them. They don't have to be scorchingly hot. Same thing with your squash, which has been roasted.
We're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on those to taste. And then I like to put just a little bit of the dressing on. Just to get the flavor all the way through. cashews here that we chopped up ahead of time. I'm going to finish the dish with those. Here I have some baby spinach which has already been cleaned. I'm going to place that in the bowl to start with. So you've got a nice base of greens and you could use a mix of, of whatever greens you like. Kale, spinach, there's a blend here that I like a lot that's a power blend combination of kale and spinach and chard I think. And then the next thing we want to do is put the quinoa on top. And then we'll top it off with the chicken. You want to figure about a four ounce breast for each, each serving. Then we'll top it with our veg. So you get the color on the top, we eat with our eyes. Remember that, guys. And then we're gonna go back over the top with about an ounce of dressing. If you wanna make this spicy, you could add a little sriracha when you're mixing it up, make it, give it a little bit of heat. Now we're gonna to top it with some cashews. Just rough chop the cashews and then I'm going to use some pomegranate seed for some color. You can buy the pomegranate whole like this or you can buy them already shelled like that. And I've got some sporty little garnish we're going to put on top. So there's your performance bowl. Real easy. Uh, thank you. In the recipe, you'll see there's lots of different combinations, lots of different subs that you can make. Um, just kind of do what you like. Just uh, make sure it's got flavor and color, and you'll hit a home run or score a touchdown, I should say. All right.